Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to get at least something quick out. Uh, it's I know it's been a while. I've been uh, fighting the flu at least two occasions and that's really put a lot of kibosh on both the modeling, the videoing, the podcasting, etc, etc. So just a very quick and dirty video here just showing you what I've been trying to work on when I get some time. This is the Hasegawa F-18, very old kit. I'm um, doing it in Canadian Air Force markings. Um, yeah, definitely a bit of a dog. I'm working on the landing gear doors, trying to get that done so I can get call this thing done. Uh, this is the sheet I originally used when I painted the landing gear doors. Good little tip, you can mark mark up the uh, what part is where and then you spray them and then there's no confusion about what goes where. As you can see, I've just got two left to put on there. Um, I did do the parafilm. I tried doing parafilm to mask the canopy, and I have to admit it worked fairly well. I probably had it on there for a little bit too long. Um, so there's one little area I've got to do a little bit of cleanup right there. You can see, but not bad. The decals were a very mixed bag, sadly. They were old, so I'll give it that. The good thing is the major ones went on with pretty well not a problem. One little bit there. Um, the low visibility markings, as you can see, they came on okay. But some of the smaller stuff really had some issues, so I haven't put a lot of the small ones on. Um, the formation lights in particular, the decals there, they were a real bear. Um, so definitely some issues there. A um, little bit of detailing left. Still have to paint the landing gear, uh, wheel hubs, stuff like that. But it's it's getting there. It's getting there. So it's not bad. So a little bit of time to work on that. The other project is this. This is the Gundam, and you've probably seen a couple of pictures of it. The Gundam with the gun tractor and the 88. Um, so. Hopefully this holds. I've got the gun tractor glued onto the base like so. I'm probably going to see if I can find some little parts like ammo boxes and stuff like that. I want to make it look like uh, whoever was in the truck started running when they saw our friend here. Uh, this is a Gundam I picked up ages and ages ago. Uh, did some markings for it. Actually found some old stuff for some old Tamiya tank markings in various scales. So as you can see, you've got that done. Not bad. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit more more weathering to go. Uh, the decals were old, but more or less went on okay. Not too bad. So the idea is, when it's done, I'm going to position it something like that, and I'm going to put a little sign on it. Basically, something to the effect of, "Oh, where did everyone go?" And the idea is that the troops have seen this thing and then run away because they haven't realized it's on their side. So that's what's been happening there, and then hopefully I'll get these two done, and then the next big project is, as I did the inbox review for, will be Battlestar Pegasus. Um, so hopefully I get a little bit more healthy and get some more time on the bench. Uh, still have to get the latest version of the podcast recorded, and Anthony and I are going to do that this weekend, and we'll try and get caught up there. So a uh, shout out to everyone. Hopefully all of you are healthier than I have been. I wouldn't wish this cold on anyone. Um, definitely, definitely not fun. So, all right, that's it for this time. Uh, as always, thank you and be well.